Ladies and gentlemen, quick tip today on how you can farm the infinite Time Reaver mount, which is one of the rarest mounts in the game. It has a chance to drop 1 to 4,000 from one of the Time Walking Dungeon bosses. There's another way to get it, and that's to get it from the Quantum Courser, which is a mount that you can get from the last boss in Morazon Trice. It can turn into any one of the mounts that drop in dungeons plus the infinite time river and the quantum courser seems to have relatively high rates to drop because i already got it four times just by doing mythic plus dungeons on my main or my oats in dragonflight and although any of the mounts of the list that i'm going to show you in just a second probably has a probability chance to drop from the quantum courser i would assume that the infinite time river either has a very low chance or will only drop if you have every other mount on that list. So let me show you the list. It has 16 mounts inside, which is 15 mounts that drop from dungeons, and the 16 mount is basically the infinite time reaver. So the trick is that I'm going to argue it's probably easier to farm every other mount on this list but the infinite time reaver and then farm the quantum courser. The reason for that is that the infinite time river has so low drop chance that you might run thousands of time walking dungeons and still not even see it what's left for you to loot it. The other 15 mounts on the list though has a 1% drop chance which sounds quite low but keep in mind that some of them you probably already have. For example I got the shark bait, the underrod harness, the cartel gear glider and the mechagon peacekeeper just by running mythic plus in the respective seasons when these dungeons were active so you probably have some of these mounts already. And if you try to farm the rest on the list that you don't have you're probably going to take less than a thousand runs total for all of them. Yes for some of them you'll be unlucky for example the dead charger reigns took 134 attempts for me and the raven lord mount took 118 but then some of them I got pretty quickly. The zulian panther took only 4 attempts, the stone drake was less than 10 attempts as well so naturally you're gonna get lucky on some of them as well and overall it should take you let's say less than 100 attempts per mount to farm overall. And of course if you're lucky like I was and you get 4 quantum courses to drop overall you can shorten the list by just opening them before you're left with the time reaver only. Once you're done then the best part remains you just open the quantum courser which in this case stood in my bags for over 2 weeks until I was farming strat home and then you get one of the rarest mounts in the game. It's not easy, it will take some time, but I think it's definitely going to be faster and more effective than farming the mount just by doing time walking dungeons. Check the description of this video for a link to the wallhead page for the Quantum Courser, which in the comment section has the full list of mounts that drop from it. If you decide to give it a shot, let me know how it goes in the comments below and how many attempts did you take for each of the mounts. Good luck, take care and check my main channel for more wall content.